So now you're going to have to start. We'll start again. Hi, this is the Trip <laughs> Kennedy Show Off Show brought to you by Trip Kennedy. Yeah. But because of a blackout, uh, Trip has asked me to be the MC tonight with yeah. the help of Leslie Thorson. Yeah. So I just came back on here. But yes, so yes. I'm, I, I, I'm, <laughs> I am, I'm happy to uh, have our first entertaining singer is the gal that it had to be her uh, <laughs> melanie wilkie melanie what are you going to be singing tonight i'm singing gucci's song from mame okay. and what is it from mame mame all right yeah then it'll be acapella because i still don't have the computer with my wings resolutely spread mrs burnside and my old inhibition shed, Mrs. Burnside. I did each little thing you said, Mrs. Burnside. I lived, I lived, I lived. I altered the drape of a drop of my bodice and softened the shape of my brow. I followed directions and made some connections, but what do I do now? Who'd think this Miss Prim would have opened a window as far as her whim would allow? And who would suppose it was so hard to close it? Oh, what do I do now? I polished and powdered and puffed myself. If life is a banquet, I stuffed myself. I had my misgivings, but went on a field trip as far as my whim would allow. My thanks for your training. Now I'm not complaining, but you left something out. Instead of wandering on with my lone remorse, I have come back home to complete the course. Oh, what do I do now? Mrs. Burnside, I traveled to hell in my new veneer. And look what I got as a souvenir. But still, I'll defend you as guide and instructor. Would I recommend you and how? Although I was leery, I thrived on your theory that life can be a well. And so I wandered on till I found my prince. And have I been nauseous ever since? Oh, what do Yay! Let's give Ooh. Melanie Wilkie a hand. That's beautiful. I love when you sing. It's just it, my heart opens up when you sing. Oh, thank really you. Really love it. Okay. Well, uh, who? Uh, oh, we have uh, Larry Davis with us. Larry. You're one of the hardy that got on the, the show. And then we've got Mary Daly's iPhone. Is that Mary Daly in the Mary Daly's iPhone or is that somebody else? We don't know. <coughs> Mystery. Isn't that um, Terry Bond's mom? <laughs> it's hard to know. It's the mystery <laughs> phone. Okay. Hey, hey, Rob. Two things. Could you make me a co-host? Okay. And, and how also, do I do that? I guess uh, I do more. No, under participants or under security. You can go under participants. Okay. And three little ditty dots. And it says mute, ask to unmute, allow participants to rename themselves, enable waiting room, hide profile. No, just go under me. Go under. Oh, go under you. Yeah, go yeah. under me. Watch it now. Hi, Larry. Uh, 
Okay, I think I got it here. Make co-host. You are the co-host. You are you the co-host. Okay. Okay. Well, I just want to say we didn't give. Did we, did we give Melanie a round of applause? We need no. to give Melanie a round of applause. I don't know how to put it on yeah. gallery view. It's always on gallery view. <laughs> Yay! 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 <laughs> All right. Well. Thank you, Leslie. <laughs> All right. Just here See, to we, help. We, I, I, it wasn't missed by me, Victoria, that you were clapping around and around to give her a round of applause. <laughs> <laughs> Was not missed. Okay, so who, who, thank you, Melanie. You touched my heart. What, what's next? Who's well, next? Oh, how about the amazing John Rosenthal? The amazing John Rosenthal. <laughs> my how idol. about it? Oh, I shouldn't have said that. The pressure, the buildup. <laughs> John, if I could only be you, yeah, my life would so be complete. <laughs> Sorry, that job's taken. Oh, all right, okay, all right. Well, we'll have to. I'll have to be. Uh, 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 what is it? Who, who's the guy who's the uh, uh, the, uh, the Temple of Doom? Oh, what's the? Uh, who's the guy with the hat with the Temple of Doom? Indiana Jones. The you Indiana can't spotlight Jones. people. I'm, I'm Indiana Jones of of the of the show off show. All right. So what are you going to sing for us tonight, John? Uh, spotlight is the spotlight working? Ah, uh, let's see. Let's Looks see. like it. No, no. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Now it's on you, though. On you. Just, you want to? You got to spotlight, John. I did. Spotlight, John. Okay. Uh, but it didn't work. Okay. Oops. Let's try it. Let's try. Let's there, we the there we go. Yay! There we go. Okay. All right. So, uh, okay. What do I need? Oh, can I record option, please? Yes. Uh, do you know how to do that, Leslie? To permit? Uh, yes, I believe I can do that. Hold on, just one second. Okay. All right. Try it. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. It's 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 uh it just popped up, so it's available. All right. Great. Um. So, okay. Do I ask everybody to mute? I guess. Could everybody? Mute? Yes. Good idea. Okay, and I'll give you my, uh, I'll tell you my story. Uh, Larry, mute, please. Yeah. Uh, yeah, thank you. Yeah. Okay. So, Hold on. Uh, okay, take your time. I just want to tell you the story. I, I, I was looking for a Jerry Herman song to do, and I wanted to do something that would be jazz-based, and I was having a hard time finding anything. And then I thought of the song MAME, the title song from the show MAME, and I typed in MAME lyrics so I could look at the lyrics. And the first word that came up after I typed in MAME lyrics was racist. And I was like, oh, this is not good. So then I read through the lyrics and I was like, oh my, this is a really uh, problematic lyric and I've got to change it. Either rewrite it or not do the song at all. So I rewrote the lyric and I took out all the offensive, uh, all the offensive slang and uh, references. And I mean, it was really, it was it basically the song was originally uh, about bringing back the plantations because yeah. That I was when the South too, was at yeah. its best, right? You know, come on. So, uh, so anyway, you'll see that there are no references that are going to um, be problematic any longer. And I found this great big band arrangement. So I'm really excited about singing this song for the first time for you tonight. Um, okay, so let me uh, get my recording going and we'll get started. Okay. One second, sorry, gotta start over again. Ah. I got a problem here. One second. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, I'm not hearing it. Are you hearing it? You are hearing it. Why am I not hearing it? This never happens. Uh, let me just check what, what my line. This is so weird. What is going on here? Um, Cause it's not coming through my ears, which is where it should be coming. One second, I'm gonna, Mm, I never have a problem like this. One second. Let me see what's going on. Let me mute for a second. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, John, do you, do you want to get that straightened? We'll come back to you. We do not. You're muted. You're going to. Why don't you move on and I'll come back, come back to me. I'm going to go out of the Perfect. room. Perfect. Right, right back. Perfect here. idea. Okay. Leslie Thorson, who is next? 
You are Karen, muted too. Karen, are you ready to step up and do it? Yeah? All right. I want to see Karen do it. Okay. Okay. She's going to do it. I'm going to put the spotlight on her. Yeah. There we nice. go. Nice. Do you want to record, Karen? You are muted. There we go. You want to record? Yeah. You have permission. Okay. Um, wow, the rain, the rain's coming down. I know it's wild. We need it. Uh, you can't hear me? We can, can hear, hear you. you. Yes. Can hear you now. Yes. Alrighty. So I was going to do this um, a couple weeks ago, um, but I'm going to do it now. It's called Pure Imagination. Um, okay. <laughs> Come with me and you'll be in a world of pure imagination. Take a look and you'll see into your imagination. Living there, 
you'll be free if you truly wish to be. Whoa! I felt like I was floating away on a balloon, you know? It's like, oh, how wonderful. I like your version much, much better than the uh, the chocolate factory one with uh, Gene Wilder. Well, you know, I always have to play everything slow. Not by choice, believe me. It's just because, um, I, I, you know, that's, that's, that's my speed on the piano. <laughs> so uh, It's just perfect. It's yeah, it really works. It really works for you, Karen, though. It, it really uh, does. It just makes everything. It makes the song work better, too. It does. It yeah. just makes it much more magical. We should all learn that song and sing it together. Not on World of pure <laughs> imagination. Uh, yeah. I know. I, I, I just uh, heard it recently, and uh, Fiona Apple does a really, really haunting version of it. Look her up. Fiona Apple's version. Fiona Apple. Well, let's give another rounding, sounding round of applause. Put it on gallery view so you can see everybody just loves you. Is there a gallery view here? Lean back so you can see the wind. Uh, <laughs> how do we get gallery views? Uh, well, I've, I've got it on Valerie, Valerie, gallery view for myself. Valerie gallery. Yeah. Valerie, Valerie view. <laughs> There we go. Um, I love it. That was great. Uh, who's next? Well, you, you know, know I have to tell you, Victoria, you look like you're about 10 years old and like you're like in a Jewish, like, you know, kibbutz camp. <laughs> That's really happy. It's just wonderful, young and happy. We, I wish we could all be young and happy. Can somebody do a face job on me so I look young? <laughs> you, look, you look fine, Rob. You look fun. Job has a Do, uh, look at Zoom takes care of Hey, this. trip is back. Buttons you can so, push. <laughs> uh, you want to be careful who you ask for a face job in certain communities. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, you know, they had they had that in they had that in uh um what is it uh, uh oh. yes they do but uh but uh, <laughs> but, uh oh the red light district uh, babel babylon they had babylon. It on babylon they had this big fat guy with this really hot gal uh like pouring over him so to speak yes it was uh, uh, quite, oh, it, it was complete utter just sex and violence just for the sex and violence of it really it if you positive. if you like that kind of thing i i thought it was a little over the top gratuitous gratuitous that's exactly well it you was, know it was like a fever dream it was it it i thought it was like i like the elephant but all the death and violence and <laughs> like the really it she was just it was, it was like pulp who's fiction on who's lost on steroids hands who's lost who's lost here show of hands okay just me all right I'll be okay here. All right, so so do you want to take over, or should I continue there, Trip? Um, you know, a bigger man would let you continue, but um, I'm petty and smart. <laughs> Yay! No, come on, petty. Well, this is the Trip Kennedy show off show. Yeah, it's going to be like Neely O'Hara all over again, and um, I, you know, I can't go through that. But I, I do want to thank you, Mr. Rob Sturble, our mensch. I can't hear you. So, uh, hands you could me. have two co-hosts. And, um, and uh, you should probably make, he's still officially host. He has to make, I have to reclaim it, I guess. Uh, <clears> can so, we, can uh, we have, can we be three hosts? We, I know we yeah, have, we let's see, how do we, oh, I know how we make you a host. Well, you, um, you, you just you click on the little ditty dots and we make you the host. You, you want to change the host to Trip, and I say yes. Yes, yes Trip is now host. I yes, see. Hey, I'm back. <laughs> I want to make sure that you're still co-host. Time. Uh, are you still co-host? She's the co-hostess with the mostest. 
Well, because you can't go anywhere without Leslie. Uh, so uh, thank you guys for filling in. We're having a power outage out uh, here. Uh, and I had all of these cute things planned, but I, uh, and I'm not sure how the recording is gonna work. Uh, well, we actually had a trip out, but, oh, yeah. but, the, power, but the trip is back on. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes, I've been turned on. Um, I, I can say that's uh, true. Uh, well, before the power, I, I, Leslie, who would have been next before I rudely stepped in? Maybe. And I you at all. Leslie, you're muted. Okay, okay, all right, sorry. <laughs> anyway, uh, well, John had a sound issue, and so he hasn't actually performed yet. So if he is has resolved that, then it would be it's John. Yeah. And, okay, well, let's, let's I was worried that I, I missed Karin, but I'll see it on the recording. But yeah, let's put the spotlight on Mr. Rosenthal. Oh, thank you. I'm so happy that you're here, and I can't. Oh, good luck. Uh, I can't wait to hear what you have come up with for Jerry Herman. Uh, but before we go on, hello, Mrs. Rosenthal. Hello. <laughs> you make her night every time you do that. <laughs> do I do? I'm gonna. I'm gonna go dirty. I like, um, uh, all spring. Uh, so what are you gonna do for us, Mr. Rosenthal? I so I was telling the crowd that I. Uh, I looked up MAME lyrics and it came up MAME lyrics racist. And I had to, anyway, I had to rewrite the entire lyric because there were so many racist lines in the song. So I did a lot of, yeah, not, not major rewriting, but I definitely took out some words and substituted. So, uh, and now the song is, is really benign and there are, there's nothing to, to offend anyone. And it's, it's such a great song that I didn't want to just bypass it because of some problems, some problematic lyrics. Um, so, I just want to uh, remind our viewers that Mr. Rosenthal is from San Francisco. Yes, I am. Oh, uh, could I have a record option, please? <laughs> uh, yes, <laughs> yes, you may. No one knows that but me, but it was hysterical. Um, thank you, thank okay. you. I'm going to do uh, allow, no, that's not right. Um, yeah, you allowed me, well, it, uh, I think, did you? Well, what happened? Oh, no, you still, you, ha you must have had it from before. Yeah, I, well, I had, had it before, I guess it came back again. Okay, good. Um, okay. So here. And with a very benign version of a cleaned up racist tongue from a from a racist Jerry Herman musical called Mame, where uh, I can't wait to hear the the version that I would hear where children present. <laughs> okay, here we go. Here's the music. Great. You coax the blues right out of the horn, ma'am. You charm the husk right off of the corn, ma'am. You've got those banjos drumming and plucking out of tune to beat the band. You've got the singers humming, cause you brought music we call Dixieland. You make my guitar easy to pick, man. You give my mint julep a kick, man. You make the old magnolia tree blossom at the mention of your name. You make us feel alive again. You've given us the drive again to help us all to thrive again. Now. You brought the cakewalk back into style. Name. You make my weeping willow tree smile, man. Your skin is simply satin, there's magic in your manner and your speech. You may be from Manhattan, but Georgia never had a sweet peach. You make the black-eyed peas and the grits, man. Seem like the bill of fare at the Ritz, ma'am. You came, you saw, you conquered. Now absolutely nothing is the same. 
Your special fascination oh, Proof to be inspirational We think you're just sensational Man We think you're just sensational Man Yeah. Wow. 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 Wow, John. I got wow. I was planning on doing that too, and I got halfway through it. I said, I can't sing this song. <laughs> <laughs> I was re I was reading the, the lyrics while you were singing and and you did a fantastic job. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Really great. Put this on gallery view right away, Mr. Rosenthal, because you should see. What everyone is saying about John Rosenthal. Thank you. Hey. You did a great job. Yeah, you did. I saw exactly what you did, too. Yeah. I got halfway through it and I thought, whoa. <laughs> John, I love the song. It's a great song. It is a great song. That's why I was like, it's worth the effort to just, you know, fix the lyrics. And it wasn't. I love how you how you you know how you how you uh, how do I, I wonder how if there's you a way musicalize the words you musicalize the words is that uh, you know what I, I mean? had, yeah yeah I know exactly what you're saying I had so much fun with this I had so much fun kind of yeah finding ways to to accentuate the lyric in different ways right 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 but but to, you brought you brought out the inner inner rhyme scheme of them mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah Jerry Herman I gotta say this he's a great lyricist. I don't yeah. think people appreciate how sophisticated his lyrics are because his writing is really, I mean, his, his melodies are very, are very catchy and they're, you know, they're, they're kind of repetitive, but they're great. But his lyric writing is brilliant. Yeah. 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 He's a he, job, John. Oh, thank you. He, uh, it, it, well, anyway, I can't say enough things about John Rosenthal or Jerry Herman or John Rosenthal singing Jerry Herman. So one more round of applause for John Rosenthal. Yay. Thank you. Yep. Great job, baby. Oh, Great I'm job. so glad you had sounded. I would have missed that. So I'm going to take the burning, burning spotlight off of you. There we go. Now it's all back to me and me all the time. So Leslie, where might we be going? We might be going uh, to uh, the singing rocket scientist. Uh -huh. The singing rock science, <laughs> a mention of pitch. <laughs> he uh, happened to call me, you know, to say hi. He often does on Mondays, and within five minutes, I had roped him into something. <laughs> uh, but he, that's Rob, you know, he was ready to go in there. And even though I came in at the halfway mark after he had done all of the hard work, and because of my ego, you saved me. From me. <laughs> uh, well, he, he forgave that. Uh, and um, uh, I worry about the JPL people, though, after our chit chat, where you were saying that you don't know how to spell and uh, and because you're just a rocket scientist. Uh, well, anyway, that's, let's that's what word processors are for. I, I'm i trying to figure out, uh, Big picture. you know, quantum uh, dark energy. Well, that's how satellites crash on Mars. That's all I'm saying. Okay, so let's put the spotlight. <laughs> can I re can I record? I insist upon it. I think it would be wrong if you did not. All right, let me. Future generations are going to ask your host to. Okay. I'm doing it right now. Okay. Uh, no, future generations are going to look back at the moment and say. Oh my God! Is it this huge thunder outside? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see. Well, thunder can't stop you, Rob Sturble. So, uh, what are you going to? All say? right. Uh, I hi, I'm Rob Sturble. Oh. Uh, I'm going to record. Uh, I'm going to sing the song I was going to sing last week, but um, I'm going to try it. I was going to sing it with uh, Jerry Herman, uh, very low, and then I decided. I said, "Well, why don't you just sing it in the key you were going to sing it in a cappella." Um, so I think I'm going to do that if I can, I can, if I can, uh, so, so last week we got to hear the drag version of, uh, Rob, doing that. but this week we'll, we'll 
get to hear the meal version. Let's see. <clears throat> so everyone, please it, return to mute yes. and Go ahead. welcome Mr. Rob Sturbel. Okay. It only takes a moment for your eyes to meet and then your heart knows in a moment you will never be alone again i held her for an instant but my arms felt sure and strong it only takes a moment to be loved a whole life long i've heard it said for love to grow for love to be sure it must grow slow i saw your eyes and now i know I listen to just my heart. Your smile made me trust my heart. For I held you for an instant. But my arms were sure and strong. It only takes a moment to be loved a whole life long and that is all that love's about that we'll recall when time runs out that it only took a moment to be loved a whole life long. Thank you. Oh, bravo. Yeah, bravo. Beautiful. Oh, what a great job, baby. Thank uh, you, no. thank you. Great way to sing the lyric. You, you. I felt that you were feeling every word of it. I, I was. I, you know, unfortunately, the, you know, that song that says, uh, "The night is like a melody. Beware, my foolish heart." You can fall in love with the wrong person too, <laughs> and think it'll last forever, but. Uh, and you know, well, it's sometimes you're home. lucky and sometimes you're, you're not lucky, but uh, love I, isn't wise. Yeah, the heart's not wise. The heart's not wise. But uh, I'm I'm lucky that, you know, some people had it all when they were young. And I, I feel like I've been blessed with um, with everything uh, at why well, I don't call it the end of my life. But let's let let's let's be honest. I'm not in my 20s or 30s, and I'm really happy. And I'm really happy with Shona. So I I feel like uh, that song. Uh, I I don't know if I ever told you the story about Shona. I met Shona in uh, like a Celtic bar uh, restaurant, and she had this amulet on, even though it was like 1989. She had this amulet on for the 1960s, like she was Doctor Strange. And I said, that's the girl for me. <laughs> <laughs> Very spiritual. Yeah. Oh, well, you see, Rob, it only takes a moment. It takes the right <laughs> moment. <laughs> right anyway, moment. I'm taking up too much time. Thanks. Oh. Oh. 
Oh my goodness. Well, Mr. Rob Sturbo, I, I have put this on gallery view because you should see what the entire world thinks of Rob Sturbo. Ah! Thank you. Thank you. Did you tell me you got a book dedicated to you today? Yes, I did have a book dedicated to me today. A oh, uh, good about friend of mine that I taught engineering and math and calculus to when and I lived in Tribeca. He's got a whole book dedicated to him. Yeah. What a yeah. guy. What a guy. I mentioned it, Pence, Mr. Bob Sturble. So we're going to take the burning spotlight off of you, my friend. Uh, uh, and uh, where are we going next, uh, Leslie Thorson? The sunshine of your life. Oh, uh, <laughs> That would be Laura Henson Clark. Mm -hmm. oh, jazz hands, jazz hands. I see jazz hands. The, the only things I'm capable of finding sometimes are the. I I can't get rid of my Mickey Mouse hands. Hold on. Okay. So there, <laughs> Mickey Mouse hands. Well, you know when it makes that little. Um, I don't know why it does that. Hello, Laura Hanson Clark. We were just talking Hello. about you. Yeah, we were talking about you. We were saying, well, how wonderful you were. If the world was like you, we wouldn't have any wars. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I really don't like conflict, so yeah, probably not. <laughs> Your volume sounds a little low, maybe when you turn around. Oh, it? Yeah. Oh, because oh, my microphone's over here. Is okay. that it? Yeah, that's better. Okay, yeah, I had to have it over here for when I sing, so. I try to, try oh. to lean when I talk. My internet connection is unstable. Hmm. Uh oh. Yeah, cut out that uh, I'll be back, I swear. Oh, my, mine's okay, okay. up should here. I, I don't know. Oh. Should I just go? Yeah, you should absolutely just go. Don't, don't okay. worry about me. I'll oh. be fine. Okay. By myself. I'll miss you. I'll miss you too. If, if, if I never see you again, you you have been. Oh no! I have to see you. You never again. know. You, uh, you never know. You can't have lightning. that. The rain is coming down like crazy, and there's lightning and thunder. The power could go out again. Yeah. And now the fabulous Laura Hansen Clark. I'll start singing so we can get through everybody before the power goes out. Then I'm gonna do uh, loving you. Laura Hansen Clark, everybody mute. Thank you. And I'm going to try it on the piano on my own. I don't have Sarah, so I'm doing my best. Loving you is snow and jasmine.
I yeah. love that. Uh, and I, I love your piano playing. I wish oh, you would do it more. I wish I could play like you. I oh, just love I that. I could play like you. Oh, no, no. I, I, you'll have to teach me how you do that. But, oh, yeah, your singing and the song and the piano playing was just great. Oh, thank you so much. And and I thought there was be another chorus. Oh, there is, but I start getting nervous. Oh. <laughs> I would have had to go back to the, the Loving You is Tardis Lemonade part again. and I was waiting for it. It's, so, you're so beautiful, my darling. It was so beautiful. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Well, let's put this on gallery view, Laura Hanson Clark, because you should see what the entire world Thanks of Laura Hanson Clark. Yay! Yay. Come see you here in safe hands. You know that must be nice yes. walking on that. Uh, well, I that I bet you're the sunshine of their lives. Oh, I try. She, Who knows? You're not. You're not tart like lemonade. You're like sugar. Oh, thank Ooh. you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, uh, uh, Leslie Thorson. We're, oh, I see a dramatic change. Going upstairs. It's not me. It's Bill. Yep. It's Bill, it's Bill. Bill going upstairs. Bill, <laughs> Bill your, be upstairs. your beard looks particularly uh, well. To oh, see. What? I, I your beard see. looks well. Oh, well, thank you. And the rest of me is pretty well, too. I'm finally healing up. <laughs> Excellent. When you're as well as your beard. There brag, 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 <laughs> brag, 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 brag. You know, uh, it's we're going upstairs during the power outage because if you walk in the living room, you never know it, really. You yeah. know, the fire is very bright and um, uh, it's uh, it lights up the entire room. So we would we would be okay for a little while, I think. Yeah, I've got all those really pretty uh, battery powered lights. It looks sort of like a stage set for uh, uh, for Avatar. It's really pretty. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, um, uh, I'm surprised I didn't buy those. My, well, anyway, they're lovely. And thank you for being prepared. Bill is a very prepared kind of um, uh, guy. So uh, you never have to worry too much. But what are you going to sing for us, my friend? I'm doing another song from MAME. And it's, I accidentally stole it from Melanie. I didn't know that she had signed up a couple of weeks ago, but she didn't sing it that time. And so I'm going to sing this, and I think she's going to sing it. And too. just stole her dream. I stole her song. Hey, hey, hey. That's a cat. Cap... Laura. <laughs> oh, well, you and Laura will have to serve time. Laura stole it to, well, her, another song from her, too. <laughs> yes, we're ganging sorry. up on it. <laughs> I can't help stealing sometimes. It just happens. Yeah. Give <laughs> me my sticky little fingers. Uh, you two are thick as thieves, I would say. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, so let's uh, let, let give it a go, Mr. Wheeler. We'd love to hear it, no matter the circumstances under which it was obtained. All right. Yeah, I'm, under the circumstances I'm performing tonight, I'm kind of frazzled. This has been a crazy, crazy kind of an evening here. <laughs> but anyway, let's open a new window, and uh, where she, where Mame sings it to her nephew, and it's just a, it's a pretty cool song. It's a very positive song. I love it. So. Here we go. Let's see if I can do it. I've been practicing all day, but I've got other things on my mind at the moment. Here we go. Open a new window, open a new door, travel a new highway that's never been tried before, before you find your adult fellow, walking the stock clock, walking the same tight rope as everyone on the block. The fellow you ought to be is three-dimensional Soaking up light down to your toes Whenever they say you're slightly unconventional Just put your thumb up to your nose And tell them that you have to do rhythm Whistle a new song, toast with a new vintage The fizz doesn't fizz too long There's only one way to make the bubble stay Simply travel a new highway, dance to a new rhythm, open a new window every day. Open a new window, travel a new, uh, travel a new highway that's never been tried before, before you find your adult fellow punching the same clock. 
walking the same tightrope as everyone on the block. The fellow you ought to be is three-dimensional, soaking up life down to your toes. Whenever they say you're slightly unconventional, just put your thumb up to your nose and show them how to dance to a new rhythm. Whistle a new song, toast with a new vintage. The fizz doesn't fizz too long. There's the only one way to make the bubbles stay. Simply travel a new highway, dance to a new rhythm, open the new window every day. Thank you. Yeah. That was great. Thank you. I'm getting close to having it memorized. I can't wait to have all the words memorized so someday I can get up on stage and dance while I sing it. Right. It really needs we, that. We could all be together like the yellow brick road, like with choreography. <laughs> <singing that together. laughs> well, you can put that with uh, Sunny Side of the Street and the yeah. rest of your um, secret positive um, songs. Um, before we go to your dark brooding drinking songs. Those two, yeah. Got to do those. <laughs> we'll call it Night and Day, you know, a uh, 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 Bill Wheeler retrospective on. Well, this does have reference to vintage and fizz. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, now I want to go read those lyrics again. you, <laughs> Mr. Wheeler, so you can see what the entire world thinks of Bill Wheeler. Yay! We love you, Bill. We love you. <laughs> Wonderful, baby. That was fun to sing. That's a good song. I want to do that. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry I stole it from you, Melody, but I'm doing uh, it. <laughs> I'll do it. Uh, good. I want to hear you do it. Yes. <laughs> Bill was completely prepared to go on and uh, in a blackout and do it on the phone and uh, my phone wouldn't connect to the microphone for some reason I tried and it said it was connected and nobody could hear me so I'm glad the power came back on I'm on the computer mm. now. it's a uh, it's tricky it took me a little while to figure it out on the phone yeah. uh, but I would have done it too because not because I wanted to because if Bill did it then yeah I'd look really bad yeah. uh, we could have pulled uh, it off but this is better <laughs> it's, it's much better because I, I would have missed all of you and I yeah and um your phone's running low so my phone is running low you said your phone was running low on power it, it's going to die any minute well now 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 it won't but um yeah but um don't let it die don't let it die no. <laughs> <laughs> i see a dramatic change in lighting are you next perhaps i am i'm <laughs> changing the lighting <laughs> i love it Oh, God, you're gorgeous anyway, darling. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you so much. I got the boost on. So, you know, Rob, you just need to go to your Zoom settings. <laughs> Play around. <laughs> you can really enhance yourself. Oh, that's what I need. I need. I love enhancing myself. <laughs> I was going to go black and white, but I decided to go boosted instead. Because yeah. it's kind of appropriate under the circumstances. Is that a big flower behind you? The the no, it's just a it's just a piece of silk and stuff to, you know, I don't know a big flower. I don't, I don't think so. Great. It just happens to be there exactly echoing the hair and the glasses and the lipstick by accident. I don't know how that happened, but you should talk to your cleaning lady. She. <laughs> Accidents happen, you know. Well, not for you, they don't. You're all about perfection, I think. But what do you do for us, my friend? Time heals everything. Oh, my God. Oh, <laughs> yes. Time heals everything. Oh, that song. It's a touch song from Leslie Thurston. Well, everyone, please mute because I need a good cry. So welcome, Leslie Thorson. All right. Let's see. I want to record just for myself. Let's see if I can do that. Oh, that's right. You have the ability. I don't know. Can I do it? I don't know. It's not showing up normally. Maybe because we're recording to the cloud. I don't know. 
Are we recording to the cloud? We are recording to the cloud. Oh, I, oh, I guess we are. Well, that was yeah. sensitive. Okay, well, let me go uh, and see if I can just assign it to you. Um, and then we'll... Um, uh, well, I can always re-record it afterwards. It's not really, it's not really a big deal. Yeah, but it's a pain. Um, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to remove co-host. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm going to give it right back. <laughs> I am, it, it has nothing to do. It's not an insurrection. That's not what's happening. <laughs> Allow to record. Okay, now you can record, and then you will regain your superpowers right after you finish recording yourself. Okay. <laughs> and then we'll try it all over again by saying, everyone, please remember to mute and welcome Leslie Thorson. <laughs> Time heals everything Tuesday, Thursday Time heals everything April, August If I'm patient The break will mend And one fine So make the moments fly Autumn, winter I'll forget you by next year Some year Though it's hell that I'm going through Some Tuesday, Thursday, April, August Autumn, winter, next year, some year, time heals everything. Time heals everything, but loving If I'm patient, the break will mend, and one fine morning, the hurt will end. So make the moments fly, autumn, winter. I'll forget you by next year, some year, though it's hell that I'm going through, some Tuesday, Thursday, April, August, autumn, winter, next year, some year, time heals everything. Time heals everything but loving you. Beautiful. Oh. 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 Thank you, Leslie. Thank you so much. Wow. That's a great Beautiful. song. A great song for you. Ooh. Yes. The keeper. Great song. Oh you. my goodness. Well, there you is. can't go wrong with that, Leslie Thorson. Let's put this on gallery view. So that you was great. What Leslie, the... that was so good. Thank you, Karen. Gorgeous. Yeah. Yay. <laughs> oh, I just realized we're not on Facebook tonight. Uh Oh. oh no, what was, oh, so Mrs. Rosenthal will never see this now, 
Uh, well, she'll get the recording. Um, I forgot we're not on Facebook. Do you want to go for the last part, or um, what, what do you think? Mm -hmm. uh, okay, mm -hmm. do that. Uh, I'm sorry about that. I don't know why it didn't. Um, I well, I'm. Uh... Yes. <laughs> 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 I'm so sorry. Um, well, I'm sorry. Now we'll have to um, have John do it all over again uh, because ah. <laughs> it's I, it's not John so much. It's just that I I think Mrs. Rosenthal and I have a thing going, and um, <laughs> um, uh, I've often thought of going straight, and I think uh, Mrs. Rosenthal is a nice lady to do it with. I do. Wow. Yeah. Well, wow. I think it's just not working out. It never really has. <laughs> I think what Mrs. Rosenthal really needs is someone to go shopping with, right? <laughs> <laughs> It'll be great going to the theater because I'll know everything and I'll look nice. And by the way, I can swing dance, Mrs. Rosenthal. I guess. <laughs> uh, show off show. What number is it? It's number 148. Uh, Eight. Yeah. How do You're I keep making feedback. the same mistakes 148 weeks in a row? I don't know. Okay. No, no, no. Oh. Okay. Um, oh, it's not going to go on that one. Um, uh, can it go into the group? Well, um, Chip, don't just do it for me. It's okay, really. I, I'm just, you know. Oh, you know what? No, it's I, fine. I, Nobody else is on, so it's it's really fine. Don't do it for. It's okay. Do it. There you are. Well, anyway, I don't want to hold you guys up, but while you're doing it, it might magically happen. Uh, so let's. Uh, but I don't want to delay anymore because you're one of the reasons that I commanded the power to come back on. Are you? Oh, Leslie, did we do a gallery view for Leslie Thurston? Did we do the applause? Did we, did we not? Oh, well, well, Yay, Leslie! Hi, Yay! Hello! Woohoo! Hi, Yay. Leslie, you two, you, you're a co host and you help so many things. And then I just, you know, I railroad you out of town and I don't give you the applause that, wow, I'm, I, I suck. <laughs> I really do. I'm, so, I'm so happy. You know, Vic, uh, Victoria had this great idea that once, like once a month, we should uh, have another uh, step in host. And right about now, I'm thinking that's a great idea. So uh, <laughs> don't do it on me. Wait. <laughs> well, anyway, Wait till but, next week. So, well, what's, uh, so we should definitely talk about that. You want, uh, and, um, but before we do, I want to allow you to record. Uh, oh, I already did. And uh, then, the, the uh, are you guys the, ready? What are you going to do? The, for the, the mic is very hot. I'm not sure if you're aware of that. How is it now? It's a little too hot, I think. How is it now? Play the Still. piano, Eduardo. La 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 It's too hot. A little bit. A little bit. A little, yeah. bit. A little bit. It just means we're gonna hear you better, I think. Um, I don't know. Okay, so wait, before can you not play the piano yet? Okay. I okay, I, I just have so many things to say. I'm gonna to try not to say them all, okay? But Jerry Herman is supposed to be like the king of uh, hummable, what did they say? Simple, hummable show tunes, right? Sure. And I heard this song, <clears throat> well, I've heard it. Actually, I never heard it because I only saw the movie, Le Cage Faux. So I never really saw the, I never saw the, the Broadway play. So, you know, all the music comes from the play, not the movie. Well, no, that's not true. There's some that this is same, but this song is not in the movie. I mean, you know what I mean? Like, uh, I get so confused about this. Anyway, <clears throat> this is not a simple hummable show tune. <laughs> and and I, you know, and I was, I told, I asked Trip, you know, what can I sing? You know, I really, and he he gave me another uh, 
another something else to sing. But by that time, I had already like delved into the you know all of the songs, and and then I came across this song. I was like, oh, I can do that because it sounds really simple. It's la di da, la di da, la di da, right? And I was like, I can do that. And I, plus, I really love the song and w the meaning behind the song, and you know, it's it's a love song. Um, Anyway, so I chose the song. And I have a few little uh, things. Uh, you know, the, at first when they tried to take this, because usually, you know, it goes the other way. You go from Broadway to movies, but this one went from movie to broad, from the French movie to Broadway. And uh, they tried, when they were first trying to get the rights of it, it was called, uh, they had to change the name of it because they couldn't get the right to the name of it. And it was called The Queen of Basin Street. Huh. And so they wrote Maury Yeston. That's why I'm talking about this because Maury Yeston was the one that was uh, scheduled as the writer for all the songs. And uh, so they did. They had it all ready to go and everything, and then they just scrapped it. They just threw it all in the trash. The creative team was just goodbye, you know, and they started all over again. And they all tried to sue La Caja Full yeah. later when it was like really famous and everything. And the only one who got any money from it was, uh, who won the lawsuit was Maury Yeston. I did not know that. Yes, and you know what else I found out while I was delving? Uh, did you know, I know this has nothing to do with it, but I don't know why it came up. Do you know who uh, Hugh Hefner is buried next to? Buried? Buried, uh, well, he's in a crypt. Who is he in the crypt next to? Barbie. Um, Gloria uh, Steinem. You were, you're close on the Barbie. Well, well not, not quite, but he bought the crypt next to Marilyn Monroe in 1992 for $75,000. So Hugh Hefner is buried in a crypt next to Marilyn Monroe. I know that has nothing to do. Anyway, I just, I just thought it was amazing. I didn't know that. Just like me, they long to be close to you. Poor Marilyn. Okay. Well, to say, Victoria, when you mentioned this song, I instantly thought it was a much better choice. I, I, I can't wait to hear you because I could just imagine what you're going to do with it. And you're in. Your I'm going to try to just sing the right notes, really. Uh, <laughs> Wait, because it's going to be great. And look at you in your little seaside outfit. Exactly. Um, it will all come together beautifully. Hello, and, and 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 wait, wait, wait. Can I just say one more thing? Um, well, I worked at the movie theater, the the fine art movie theater in Kansas City, Missouri, the Bijou Theater, when this came out, and we had this the movie in the the in the theater like every month. I mean, it was just like ne never felt. I mean, it, you have to play La Caja Full. Um, Anyway, but I just want to say, you know, love like music is universal. And I believe that humans, we humans were, in general, were born to love and we are taught to hate. So I... Carefully taught. Yeah, anyway, so I... This was a, a very monumental song in its time. Okay, you wanna go, Eduardo? Here we go. Pray for me, please. <laughs> Dude, you didn't play the note for me. Okay, a do over, start again. I told you. Do you recall that windy little beach we walked along? That afternoon in fall, that afternoon we met a fellow with a Concertina sang What was that song? It's strange what we recall And odd what we forget I heard La 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 As we walked 
on the sand I heard la 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 I believe it was early September Through the crash of the waves I could tell that the words were romantic Something about sharing Something about always Though the years race along I still think of our song on the sand And I still try and search for the words I can barely remember Though the time tumbles by There is one thing that I am forever certain of I hear la la di da la di da la di da la di da and I'm young and in love I believe it was early September Through the crash of the waves I could tell that the words were romantic Something about sharing Something about always Though the, though the years race along I still think of our song on the sand And I still try and reach for the words I can barely remember Though the time tumbles by, there is one thing that I am forever certain La di da, la di da, la di da, and I'm. again someday okay because oh. you don't even know how many times i sing that song like a thousand times <laughs> that is so hard so i'm gonna do it again i'm gonna do, do it, it really do better. it again do it again because yeah, it's, it's worth doing again i mean you you didn't know the lyrics and uh, but you know your voice and 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 the piano and the whole package is is ready to go Great. It's ready to go great. I did know the lyrics mostly. Uh, and it's, yeah. It's well, I mean, it, it, those lyrics need to be sort of really internalized, you know, because it's like it's like a monologue almost. It's like acting. Yes. I, I saw you on the beach. Yes. Yeah. I remember when I was on the beach and I was 14. Oh. Holding, <laughs> you know, Rockaway Beach. Have you all, does everybody have a beach story here? I don't mean a sandy, rough beach story, but 
<laughs> I don't have any sexy beach stories. I just remember my little sister getting, you know, disappearing and she slipped her leash and, and we, oh. we were running around the beach screaming oh. her name. And, and uh, yeah. Now, the best beach, beach memory I have does involve, however, sausages. <laughs> How do we bring that back around to love? <laughs> they were really lovely sausages. I, I, I think you did a beautiful job getting back to you on your singing. I think you did a beautiful job. Yeah. My be I have one beach story. It was it's I was rescued once by a bunch of lifeguards on a boat and I didn't want to be rescued. Oh baby. I was really mad. I was in Huntington Beach. And then I'm just swimming, like I'm out past the pier, but I'm fine because I was in that water since I was like five years old, you know. I have no problem being there, you know, up past the pier a little bit. And uh, next thing I know, there's this boat around me picking me up out of the water. I'm like, let me go. I don't want to be saved. And they <laughs> tossed me on the other side of the pier, on the south side of the pier, like way down. I'm like, man, this really sucks. Anyway, that was my beach story. <laughs> Even though I've lived on the beach. I think we're so all times. forgetting uh, that how great that was, and we, you should really see what the entire world thinks. Yay. Yay. Yes. Uh, Yay. I'm yeah. going to sing it better. I loved it, Victoria. I loved it. I thought it was beautiful. It was a great beautiful. song it for was. us. It's great show. And romantic, very romantic. Uh, uh, <laughs> So uh, I really thought that it fit beautifully, right in the tessitura of your voice. It's um, uh, you can make it poetry sing. Anyway, uh, do you know Marine Mazi? I do. Uh, uh, she uh, she just passed recently. Uh, Nineteen two thousand nineteen. Yeah. Yeah, uh, of ovarian cancer, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, that's right. Amazing, amazing artist. What a singer she was. Wow. And, and I, I, she, she knows she. She never used her arms or her hands. I'm trying to practice that. Oh, never used. Um, she uh, doesn't lift when she sings. She's completely like this, and she acts yeah. the whole song through her voice and her face. I don't think I could do it. <laughs> I've, um, it's, it's hard. Um, I've I've had um, directors threaten to handcuff me. Because, <laughs> <laughs> and that, and that was I don't think it was for that trip. Well, no, that's how I got the job. But it I was. Think <laughs> So definitely, because I'm always like, you know, this, um, I gesticulate madly is, is what I do. Um, but um, uh, if uh, I'll look into some restraints. I, I've heard good things. <laughs> That's a good idea, actually. Sorry? That's a good idea. I used to put, for, to not wrinkle my forehead, I used to put tape on it. Does that I, used to put, I used to put boxing tape on my forehead so I wouldn't wrinkle my forehead. Does that work, anybody? Yeah, it did. Did it really? Mm -hmm. well, so you I'm going to do that. I'm going to handcuff myself next time. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm going to handcuff myself and put tape all over my face. Well, <laughs> a country song. I'll handcuff myself. Uh, we could, <laughs> we could, we could do a whole album of, 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 of kinky boots, I guess. <laughs> I want to figure Mama Mia's in there somewhere. <laughs> uh, well, what <laughs> we, do, we do need to decide on it. Larry! But, ah. uh, Leslie Thorson, where are we going? I think I know. Well, I hope that Larry Davis is going to sing for us tonight. Well, I had, I had really planned on doing MAME until I started seeing all the lyrics. I said, I can't do this. <laughs> and so I had to pick something at the last minute. And it's kind of just as bad because. Uh, I know, uh, I forgot. It's, uh, it's uh, if he walked into my life. Uh, but it takes on a whole different thing with, with me singing it. So instead of it being from Annie Mame, just say it's from Uncle Lair. So, well, there you go. Uh, I can't wait to hear anything you sing, Mr. Davis. And uh, I'm going to remind everyone to please mute, which I see they have, including me, and welcome Mr. Larry Davis. Okay. I, I can't promise how great this is going to come out because I waited till the last minute to do it. So here we go.
Did he need a stronger hand? Did he need a lighter touch? Was I soft? Was I tough? Did I give enough? Did I give too much? At the moment that he needed me, did I ever turn away? Would I be there when he called? If he walked into my life today, were his days a little dull? Were his nights a little wild? Did I overstate my plan? Did I stress the man? Forget the child. There must have been a million things that my heart forgot to say. Would I think of one or two? If he walked into my life today, Should I blame the way I pampered him or blame the times I bossed him? What a shame, I never found that boy before I lost him. Were the years a little fast? Was his world a little free? Was there too much of a crowd? All too lush and loud and not, not enough of me. Though I'll ask myself the whole life through, what went wrong along the way? Did I make the same mistakes? If he walked into my life today, Should I blame the times I pampered him or blame the times I bossed him? What a shame. I never really found the boy before. I lost him. Were the years a little fast? Was his world just a little too free? Was there too much of a crowd? All too lush and loud and not enough for me? Though I ask myself the whole life long, what went wrong along the way? Would I make the same mistake if you walked into my life today. The boy with the bugle. If he walked into my life today. Hmm. Thank you. Oh, how perfect. Wow. Wonderful. Beautiful. Let's put this on gallery view right away, Larry, because you should see what everybody is thinking of Larry Davis. Yay! Oh, there you great. go. Thank you. Great. After going through three songs and and being surprised by Mame, I I don't know. <laughs> Well, I, I put the blame on Mame. Uh, <laughs> uh, um, okay, so it's Uncle Lair. So Uncle Lair. Perfect song for you, Larry. Yes. You would, you would be a great Mame character, though, you know, Uncle Lair, you know. Uh, uh, uh -huh. You would take Patrick on all sorts of adventures. Oh, yeah. I think <laughs> I could. <laughs> <laughs> We'd get in trouble, I think. <laughs> <laughs>
But I, okay. I th well, um, uh, are I, you going to sing trip? Yeah, I, I am. Oh, I'm going to um, try to. Uh, I yeah. think everything is hooked up, so it might. That we need to figure out a theme for next week. If anybody has any ideas, uh, next week is what the thirtieth. Uh, oh no, not yet. Oh, no, no. I, I don't know what day it is. Um, Today is the ninth. Wow, really? I couldn't be further off. Wow, the sixteenth. It would be the sixteenth. Sixteenth. Yeah. Is it? Um, is it Martin Luther King Day? Is that what? Probably. It? I, is, um, probably. It'd be close to it anyway. It's very it's close. Yeah. Next week. I think. Uh, well, we should do uh, should center around that. Certainly, um, this is a boomer crowd. I bet you would all like to sing some protest songs. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't. I don't know. No, Larry says no. Uh, yeah. well, we will. Um, uh, we'll, we will figure. If it I can't out. do Mame. We can't do protests. <laughs> you know, as we're we're cleaning it up. I I don't know what you guys are gonna do to Chicago, but uh, that would be fun to go listen to some Candor and Ebb, maybe. Um, oh, I love Chet Candor and Ebb. Oh uh, well, see that me. You know, I don't know if one, either one of their birthdays are. Um, so uh, I wonder if they would be really lucky if they were. Wouldn't that be? Cool? It's it's Eduardo's birthday. We could all do Frank Zappa. Uh -oh. Thanks, Lapa. <laughs> that would be wild. Oh. Eduardo, what would you have us do for your birthday? Eduardo! We, we can't let Eduardo make it. And tonight on the piano, it's phenomenal how good he is. It's just amazing. I know, I know, I know. It's really, he's, we almost got divorced like five times doing that song. <laughs> and that's just in one afternoon. And I had it, and I had a knife to my own throat. Well, okay, wait, wait, but no, I'm just kidding. But it was, it was, a, it was, you know, it's going to be real. It's going to be like that new word song. It's going to just keep getting better and better. Okay, Eduardo, they want to know what you want to sing on your birthday. Yes, what would you, what would you like the theme to be? I told them Frank Zappa, but they didn't like, I don't think they like that idea. I, I no, we'll, we'll, I'll figure it out. Um, I know that. Uh, Frank Zappa, I don't know his news. I heard He's Christ it. Superstar. <laughs> Jesus Christ Superstar? No. Uh, well, I think it may be a free theme. Just pick the best that you can sing. Oh, oh all right. Uh, that's, you can't go wrong by giving people freedom. Uh, exactly. Freedom. freedom. Yeah. He's, he went to Martin Luther King. He missed the whole protest uh, part of the conversation. Oh. He, and he went to Martin Luther King. Oh, Larry David. I think it was all about freedom, no? Yeah? Freedom. Oh. Right. Well, we should close up our show. We'll see if this actually works. Um, uh, Jerry Herman had a house on, uh, now it's not working. Uh, We're at the end of the show already. Goodness. I think so, right? Did we miss anybody? Is anybody? Yeah, you didn't sing. You didn't sing yet. Yes. I sing. I sing. Yeah, you need to we sing. Like I am what I am. I am what I am. You have to sing that song. I'm trying. Uh, uh, hold on. I think that in 2024, they'll get you to play uh, uh, Albert right. Einstein. <laughs> okay, it's almost there. Thank you for all you do, Trip. Really. And let's all mute. <laughs> See, it's the wiener. The wiener schnitzel hat. <laughs> I, I am what I am. I am my own special creation. So, come take a look. Give me the hook for the ovation. It's my world that I want to have a little pride in. My world. 
and it's not a place you have to hide in. Life's not worth a damn till you can say, hey, well, I am what I am. I am what I am. I don't want praise. I don't want pity. I bang my own drum. Some think it's noise. I think it's pretty. And so what? If I love this feather and its spangle, oh, why not try to see things from a different angle? Your life is a sham till you can shout out loud, I am what I am. And what I am, and what I am, needs no excuses. I deal my own deck. That's right, my own deck. Sometimes the A's, sometimes the deuces. There's, there's not a life. And there's no return and no deposit for one life. So it's time to open up your closet. Life's not worth a damn until you can say, hey, world, I am what I am. Show off, show off. Oh, what, what a night. What a night. Oh.